Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, Joe. And in today's video, I want to teach you how to speak like a native speaker. Okay? Students can often speak enough English that others can understand them. But they don't say things the same way native speakers do. I see this quite often with students in my classes, as well as students online. In this video, I'm going to show you incorrect sentences that are more or less understandable. I want you to take a moment and try to think of how a native speaker might say it. You can pause the video if you want. Then, I will tell you the answer or answers because there could be more than one right way to say things. In case you don't know who I am, my name is Joe and I teach English to foreign students at a university in Canada. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button. Also subscribe and hit the notification bell down below. I make a new video every week and if this one helps you, then I've got 600 or more videos that could help you too. <laughs> All right. Let's get started. So, sentence number one is, I don't have enough time to go to there. So, that sentence is incorrect. You can pause the video if you want. Try to figure out how to fix it. And here's the answer. It should be said, I don't have enough time to go there or Tell me where there is. I don't have enough time to go to the mall. I don't have enough time to go to a movie. All right. Something like that. That's the way a native speaker would say it. All right. Now you've made it this far. I want to give you a secret code now. In my videos, I put secret codes. There's going to be three of them in this video. If you watch the whole video, find the secret codes and send them to me in a, in a message on Instagram at teacher Joe Crossman, then I'll know you're a fantastic student and you deserve more of my help and I'll give it. <laughs> All right. So the first secret code is I have lots of time. All right, let's keep going. Here's sentence number two. Fast food is oily and high calorie. So that's not right. Do you know how to say it correctly? The right way is fast food is greasy and fattening. Or fast food is greasy and high in calories. That's the way native speakers would say that sentence. All right. Let's move on to sentence number three. I like pizza with many cheese and vegetables. So that I understand, but it's not the way I would say it. <laughs> Here's the answer. I like veggie pizza with extra cheese. That's how you would say that particular kind of pizza. Okay. <laughs> Let's go on to sentence number four. I like my sneakers. This one is Nike. Okay, I think you understand, but it's not correct. We would say, I like my sneakers. These are Nikes. All right, we don't just say one. They're a pair, there's two of them. So these are Nikes. All right, let's go on to number five. This is sentence number five now. My friend has 10,000 kimono. Well, I don't understand. <laughs> this is what you could say. My friend has a $10,000 kimono. And, rem and be careful. Watch it. It says $10,000. Because usually we say $10,000 when we're talking about money. Here we're talking about a product, a kimono. So 
The $10,000 part is the adjective and no plurals on adjectives. So it's, uh, it's a $10,000 kimono. All right. So now we've made it this far. Here is the second secret code. It is, my friend is rich. <laughs> Moving on. Here's question number six. Spider kill a insect in my house. Nope, that's not how we say it. There's a lot of mistakes there. We should say spiders kill insects in my house. Or spiders can kill insects in my house. All right, those two ways is how a native speaker would say it. Okay? All right, I have two sentences left. Here's number seven. I will try my best for getting my best job. Nope. <laughs> the right way to say it is, I will try my best to get my dream job. Okay, that's the way we would say that sentence. And here is number eight. I like soccer game. No, can you guess? Should be, I like soccer. That's it. You don't have to put game there. You would say game if you're talking about one game. Right? I played a soccer game last week. He played in a game la uh, yesterday. A game. So you don't need it. You just say, I like soccer. All right? Now here is the third secret code. I love ice hockey. <laughs> Maybe you knew that. All right, so that's the end of this lesson. There are eight sentences and eight corrections. Uh, watch the video again, maybe in a week, and see if you can remember these corrections. If not, write them down, okay? Uh, if you wanna learn more English, I'm gonna put a link here. And if you click on that, you'll see me in a different shirt, different length of beard, a little bit more hair, but the most important thing is you keep learning. All right? And by the way, do you like learning how native speakers say things? That's it for now. See ya.